Hey, it's Tom from Inspiration Mind Works, and uh, in this week's video, we've got something a little different. Uh, doing a little reverse engineering and trying to work a few things out for a friend of mine uh, who also has a Tormach. Um, Tormach holders, if I grab any, well, here, it's the one that I'm using right now. Tormach holders, um, TTS holders, so it's the uh, Tormach tooling system, is what it stands for. They, uh, they come. <coughs> Typically with a groove in here, right? That groove is for the um, the tool changer, right? Uh, you don't have to get them like that, though. In fact, there's other uh, vendors out there. You can get, uh, I mean, basically just three quarter shank tooling. So there's other vendors out there that, that make their own version of it. But as you can see, they don't always have that groove in there. So what we're doing today is we're doing some measuring to reverse engineer the measurements here, I'm going to figure out what these, these measurements are. And then we're going to use a grooving tool. So this one happens to be a, a nickel. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, it's only a half inch shank, so I'm going to have to set it up a little different. But we're going to put this in the Tormach. And what we'll do is we will, um, in the lathe, we'll set it up so it uses collets, comes in, we can come in, put that groove in, put the little chamfer in, and you know, done. So, um, so Dominic sent me a bunch of these tool holders. Uh, <coughs> my little on the weather, uh, traveling, and then all kinds of things coming up. So I'm just doing everything I can possibly do. But we're trying to get this done for him and get this back out the door. So let me set up the, uh, let me change the camera angle for you, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. All right, it's a little messy, but I think you'll be able to, to follow along here change the angle around a little bit so we can see what's going on. So the idea is um, <coughs> we've got the tool holder in here. Now um, Tormach sells these little kits and we use them for finding heights, right? So when we're finding our tool heights, we'd come over, you take your zero, find your tool height. And then this can actually even plug in via USB and, uh, and automatically get your tool offsets into your library. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually pick up what these little grooves are because really what's important when this is in the holder, right? In the in the I'm sorry, when this is in the uh, the collet in the spindle, it's gonna come up and it's gonna hit flush. Right? So this is gonna hit flush against the, the spindle. So what's really important for us really is this distance here and knowing what this what this uh, gap is. And then there is a slight chamfer on here as well. And my guess is that's to help just guide the the uh, fingers to come in on the tool changer. So first things first, we get this down, make sure everything, I wiped it all off first. So we get it down here, make sure it's clean. We're there on zero and I'm gonna press on and then I'm gonna press zero. So I've zeroed off the surface of the plate. And so the next step for me, really, I'm gonna put this, um, we're going to come right in here. So now I'm resting on the bottom of that groove and I'm reading it 0.212. And so I'm writing this down. So from zero to the bottom of the groove is 0.212. And I'm doing this in, in uh, Imperial. Now. Sorry, I'm not connected to your Wi-Fi. <laughs> Please check your internet connection and try again. All right. So while we're at it, apparently, you know, apparently we set off our uh, automation system while we're at it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to get an idea of what the gap is. I'm going to do just a real basic measurement, and then I'm going to get some gauge blocks out and verify this. So. This looks like it is an 8.083. Right. So that slot, it's saying it's 0.083. And just for grins, let's take a look at our um, tool here, and it's measuring at 0 0.060. Let's just double check. Yeah. Zero six zero, and you know, from a sanity check, yep, that works. It, it hit, you know, there's room for it to come in and out. 
So I'm gonna go get some gauge blocks and I'll be right back. We'll we'll check this for real. Alright, I went and got some gauge blocks because I would like to verify that what I have here is correct. Got a slight problem though. In that uh well extra one on one there's a couple of extra gauge blocks in here, 120, but <clears throat> it looks like I've got a 50 thou, and then we go up to 0.1. So this should not go in, and it does not. So, shoot. Um, Round two, let's see if I can find a drill that's the right size. Okay, <clears throat> so a number 45 drill, if I remember right, uh, 45 is, point, is uh, 0 0.82, 0 0.082, and you know, we've got pretty close. So this would be about a foul under based on what I read off the calipers, right? And yeah. That's not bad, but I think I'm going to see if I can find one size up from this and um, check again. All right, <clears throat> so we've got a little conundrum here because I think we're seeing something with tolerances. So I've got this guy, which measures in at you know, 93, right? And I've got this other one, which measures in at 88. Right? So, it's a 5 thou difference. This guy, the 088, moves around quite a bit. And this does say genuine Tormach tool holder. The 093 goes in really nice, barely wiggles. So, you know, it's about right. This other one, again, same. You know, it's genuine Tormach. The 088 goes in, but the 093 does not. It's too tight. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but it does not go in there. Uh, let me just grab another random one. It doesn't go in that one either. What about this one? Goes in this one. All right, so we must be in like a plus or minus, like a five thou tolerance in there. So that's good to know, right? So we're saying that that distance is 088 plus 005. So that gives us a tolerance. So by by dumb luck, we were able to come up with what the tolerance is. Um, the chamfer, on the other hand, I'm just gotta figure out. So, I gotta do a little math on that one, but you know, it's just a general chamfer. It's not a whole lot. I think you can probably see it. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, next up would be drawing. Okay. So, I just roughed in um, yes, a, a drawing earlier just to kind of get a feel for what I needed to do. Now that I have the actual measurements, Let's put that in place so we know oops, that this is actually we know, this is actually 0.75 and then this dimension here hmm. do I want to do this back? All right, <clears throat> so that's there. This dimension is 0.212, and then this dimension is 0 0.0, let's say 90. So that's a little bit bigger than the one, but not as big as the other. Actually, say 91. That should give us right about half. Halfway, so two and a half. I'm splitting the difference. And then, I guess I never did give this overall height of dimension. I was just playing a little bit. <clears throat> dimension, what am I doing? Dimension, let's just say it's one inch. Which actually, now that I think about it, let's measure it because then I can touch off from the front. 
0.857. I'm gonna go do this on the. Uh, I'm gonna do this on the surface plate, and uh, go from there. I'll be right back. All right. I went over to the surface plate and just did a quick measurement on that again, and it came out to be 0.861. So now I can actually throw this guy in the collet in the lathe and pick up my, my zero reference off this, and then I can actually come in and kind of check how everything's going to line up. Make sure that everything cuts properly. So, yeah, that's good. <coughs> hmm. Man. This whole being sick thing is... Uh, it's not cool. All right, so now that we have a drawing, oh, right, so let's stop the sketch. So we've got a better thing here, but um, let's see. This should be 0 0.07. So that's our chamfer. And then I gave a, I did a little chamfer on this edge here. Um, I don't know how well you can see. I just gave it a five thou. Just break this edge, right? So. Just enough to break that edge. Gives us a little bit nicer um, look. We don't want sharp edges in there. It's probably about the same on the, the actual TTS holder. Just enough to break it, deburr it. Um, yeah. Save early, save often. Mm -hmm.